this is the stage we're up to where if I have got a, uh, a sale that I want to make so to pick a company any company white clover markets I'm going to sell a product any product luckily maybe uh, if I want to sell two of those and I want to sell them today to update the number in stock I click the update stock button I get a message and another message and that's updated it's taken those two off the number in stock I want to um, I'm concerned here that I don't know for certain whether I've clicked that button or not and someone might accidentally click the button twice and end up with an incorrect stock value so I'm going to put some measures in place to fix that I'm going to close that and go all the way back to the sales table and I'm going to add a field to this which is going to be um, stock updated and that's going to be a yes no field so that's going to be a tick box to say whether we have actually updated the number in stock so we can just tick it in the table here but that's not what we need to do we need to do it on the form and the first thing I need to do is actually include that ticky box on the form so if I go the form is based on this query so I need to go into this query and I need to add that stock updated to, to the um, field to the query close that and save it and then on the form in design view I need to add that field if I click on add existing fields these are all the fields that are available in the query so that's the new one I've just added so I've got stock updated and I shall put that uh, there is good so I've now got that ticky box there and if I go through some of the records some of them I've already ticked haven't I so there you go so now what I want is that when I click that button it automatically updates that ticky box there to say the stock has been updated uh, so there's a few things that we need to do firstly I'm going to need a query that actually does that update so leaving that form open I'm going to create a new query and in the sales table it's going to update the stock updated I need to make it an update query and it's going to update it to yes and the criteria is that the invoice ID is the same as the, the uh, what's on the form so if I just hop into the form the forms loaded forms for make sales it's the invoice ID so that invoice ID is uh, on the form and that's going to be the one that actually gets updated to yes so I'll save that as QRY um, update uh, stock updated I'm gonna say uh, to do, um, yeah okay good enough and when I run that query if I look at this one here uh, this is white clover market so it's going to look at this invoice ID number 14 and it's going to update that value to yes so stock updated I'm going to annoying error message annoying error message now it hasn't actually shown oh, it has actually ticked that box now okay I didn't tick that the um, the query did so now what I need to happen is when I click this button it updates this, the quantity in stock so it runs uh, this query and it also updates that button so it also runs this query and in order to do that I need to make a macro so if I go into macros add a new action and open query so the first one it's going to do is update product in stock and then I'm going to add another query open query which is going to be uh, the stock updated one and that may or may not work there's a couple of extra little fiddles that we need to do uh, actually one of the ones I know I'm certain I need to do is refresh because once I've done that those two queries the form doesn't necessarily refresh its data and look back to the table but if I hit refresh it will actually refresh um, what's on that form so I'm going to save that as macro update stock okay and close that and the easiest thing to do rather than um, try and modify what this button does is to actually just delete that button and do it again 
So delete that button, add button again, miscellaneous is going to ru uh, run a macro. I've only got one macro. The text is going to be update stock and uh, finish. Now I think there is one last thing I'm going to need to do. I'm just going to try this though. So I'm going to make a brand new record. So to Vartian Herku, I'm going to sell um, some Rud Caviar. I'm going to sell two of those today. So I hit update stock. Back to run an update query. Yep. 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 Uh, update zero rows. That's the problem. Now, there's a specific reason why I'm saying update zero rows. The problem is this record hasn't yet been put out to um, to the table until I actually step onto the next one. That 15 hadn't been put in place. So in order to do that, go back to this macro and put it into design view. Um, I'm going to add a new action which is save. I'm sure I saw that in here somewhere. Uh, save record. I'm just going to drag that up to the top. So that's the first thing that happens is it's going to save the record so that um, is that record is actually in the table and it will actually update it. So back and give it one more shot. Close, yes. And uh, another brand new record. What's it going to be this time? It's going to be Sante Gourmet. I'm going to buy some veggie spread. Um, I'm going to buy two of them today. Hit update stock. Yep. 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 One rose. Yes. So it is going to do the update. And the up button has become ticked. So I now know that the, um, the stock has been updated. And that's done. Uh, one last thing that we can add into this is those error, those messages each time are really annoying that I get four messages every time I click that button. Uh, we can actually go to this macro and in design view we can add, um, there's a option of showing all, um, of not showing messages. But it's not in this list, annoyingly. Um, unless you click the show all actions button. If I click show all actions and then go down to here I can set um, set warnings on no. So there will be no warnings. So save that. One last new record just to check this. So this time it's going to be 7C's imports are going to buy some Suop de Arbel, two of them, today. Update stock. Oh, that's annoying. Still got it. Never mind, ignore that last bit. The rest of it's all correct.